you guys. Welcome back. Now, most little girls long to be a princess in a fairy tale, but this six-year-old, for some time, has had just one wish. All Caitlin wanted was to be able to walk unaided. And thanks to your generosity, this brave South Aussie's wish has come true. Here's Francesca Belperio. I haven't seen you for a while. Oh, look at you go. Good to see you. How are you doing? Good. Good? You look fantastic. And you've gotten rid of your walker, is that right? Yes. What happened to it? It got in the rubbish bin. It went in the rubbish bin? Yes. She's the five-year-old little Adelaide girl with one very big personality. At ten. And an even bigger goal. You ready to see me walk? I bend forward, I pick it up, and I stand, stand up. up, 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 up. We first met Caitlin and the Gray family last year. Born with cerebral palsy diplegia, Caitlin couldn't walk or even stand. She was born 10 weeks early, mm -hmm. 10 weeks early, and, and things were going fine. We didn't notice anything, and then she couldn't sit when she was meant to be sitting. She'd drag herself along the ground. So basically, she can't walk by herself, she can't stand by herself. This was Caitlin back then. I race to the trampoline. Huh? Just look at her now. Really? Go. I think she'll be walking by the end of the year. So Fantastic. Yeah. Unaided. Yeah, unaided. she's already yeah. doing about eight steps. Before she couldn't stand unaided, can she do that now? Yes, uh, she yeah, can. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Are you going to show us? Let me have a look. Look at your balance. time mum Karina and dad Scott have seen their six year old daughter walk. She's a different girl now, she's just so confident with everything she does and yeah, yeah all personalities. Thanks to a life changing spinal operation Caitlin underwent at St Louis Hospital in the US. The family travelled there in December after raising more than $50,000 for the surgery. We helped them fundraise and you, our generous viewers, came to the rescue. Just oh, thank you so much for everything you've done for you. us and it couldn't have been possible without all your help. So what would you call this operation? A miracle operation? How would you, what would you say? It, it is in a way, isn't it? Yeah. Everything is just improving. The roller coaster is just going up and up now. And, and what can you do now that you couldn't do before, Caitlin? I can do a couple of steps on my own. Amazing. Mm, your crutches? Yeah. You're walking everywhere with your crutches now, aren't you? Um, um, Dancing in them. I walk, I walk to the canteen, to my cousin, to the oval, to the canteen, to my cousin, to the oval. There's no cure for cerebral palsy, but the Greys say this dorsal rhizotomy operation is the next best thing. Not only is Caitlin standing taller, but she's also grown in confidence. And she's working harder than ever at her physiotherapy sessions. Every Thursday, every Friday, every Monday. So you should physio three times a week? Yes, and four times five goes to bed. She's got a very bright future. As I said, she can, she can achieve anything and, and she's well on her way. So we've already actually just been told um, she really loves swimming too, that um, she's above the entry level for the kids' Paralympics as well. So, so we have a future Paralympian yeah, on our hands. Yeah, haven't heard the last of her. Go, Caitlin. Go, go, go. Although Caitlin's first goal is a little less ambitious. When you start walking on your own, what's the first thing you want to try, you reckon, that you haven't been able to do? I want to work at McDonald's. <laughs> She's a positive little girl and she, she doesn't give up on things. She's got a better quality of life. Yeah. How special is she? Francesca Belperio there. Now next, how to get... All